happy birthday to these three legendary wrestlers. WWE Hall of Famer, the late Dusty Rhodes, WWE Hall of Famer Rikishi, and Taz. X-Man 1991 back again with another video. I hope you all had an incredible weekend. I definitely had an incredible weekend. My Sunday was off the chain. I played basketball for like two and a half hours. Hold on, let me check my Fitbit app and see how many hours did I play basketball yesterday or they didn't even track it. And I know I had my Fitbit watch on the whole time, so I guess they're not going to track it. I played basketball yesterday for like two and a half hours. And I came back home just in time to watch game three of the AL of the ALDS division series. American League division series between the Houston Astros and the Chicago White Sox and animation domination. By the way, Family Guy did have a Halloween episode last night. Besides the Simpsons, the Great North, and Bob's Burgers, Family Guy had also had a Halloween episode last night. Also, some of you guys have been requesting me to give my two cents about Family Guy not airing on Adult Swim anymore. Well, I've been planning to do that before y'all even requested it. So, later on this week, I'm definitely going to um, give my two cents about Family Guy not airing on Adult Swim anymore while I'm reviewing the September 1998 schedule of Cartoon Network. Matter of fact, I'm going to write down a list and I'm going to reveal all the TV schedules I'm going to be reviewing before the end of this year. I know the spring of 1998 schedule of Nickelodeon. I'm definitely going to review that because my favorite Snick lineup was on that schedule. And I'm also going to review the fall 1999 schedule of Nickelodeon. But I'll let you guys know what TV schedules I'm going to review before the end of this year. In the meantime, this video ran a sponsorship by Bang, Potent Brain and Body Fuel. Today's flavors, the Lemon Drop and the Froze Rose. I'm take a drink of the lemon drop to keep my anger in check. We're about to do a recap of this game yesterday. So as my man Spitz389 would say, what's up YouTube, your boy back once again with another sports topic and today we're going to talk some football, Houston Texan football. We're going to do a recap of yesterday afternoon's pink ribbon game between the New England Patriots and the Houston Texans. As the Texans play their second or third game without the presence of Tyrod Taylor, who's still suffering an injury, and without the presence of our head quarterback, Deshaun Watson, who is still facing 22 counts of sexual assault allegations against women. But first... We got to get our special guest in here. We got to get him in here to do this. All right, let's get right into it. A recap of yesterday's pink ribbon game between the New England Patriots and the Houston Texans. Texans killed the Patriots in the first quarter six to nothing. Both teams scored nine points apiece in the second quarter. So at halftime, Texans 15, Patriots 9. Texans outscored the Patriots in the third quarter 7 to 6. After the third quarter, Texans 22 Patriots 15. Texans choked a 13 point lead. They didn't score shit in the fourth quarter while giving up 10 touchdowns. Final score New England Patriots 25, Houston Texans 22. The Patriots are now 2 and 3 as the Texans lose their fourth game in a row. This Sunday and next Sunday, they have a two-game road trip, one in Indianapolis against the Colts, 
and another in Arizona on October 24th going up against J.J. Watt, DeAndre D. Hopkins, and the Arizona Cardinals. They will not be back at home until Halloween when they take on the L.A. Rams. November 7th in Miami against the Dolphins. November 21st. Oh, they got November 14th off. And I believe that's the one-year anniversary of Mikey's Aunt Lisa's passing. And the one-year anniversary of me and my sister getting the iPhone 12. November 21st against the Tennessee Titans. November 28th taking on the New York Jets. December 5th taking on the Indianapolis Colts. December 12th taking on the Seattle Seahawks. December 19th against the Jacksonville Jaguars. December 26th, the day after Christmas, or should I say Kwanzaa, taking on the LA Chargers. January 2nd against the 49ers and the last game of the season taking on the Tennessee Titans. I was hoping that the Texans would win their second game this season, but unfortunately, like you said, Mikey, they choked a 13-point lead. And especially without the presence of Tyron Taylor, who is still recovering from an injury. So he should be back probably next week or the week after. And of course, without the presence of our head quarterback, Deshaun Watson, who is still facing sexual assault allegations against 22 women. So I'm going to let the camera face you so you get your two cents about this game. I thought the test is one. But no, they gave up 16 unanswered points. We led by 13, and we gave up 16 unanswered points. But as far as everybody's concerned, I blame the special teams. One that involves the return of Kyrie Bear Bear, who has missed the last, I believe, was three or four games. He missed time due to injury they suffered during the preseason. And he was placed on IR and came back today. Missed two extra points, one field goal, left five points. Texas should have won 27-25, but special teams just had a bad day. And after that punter, I don't know what the hell kind of punt was this. You had one job to do, and that's punt the ball, but you let one of your own punters block your own punt. Special teams just had a rough day. Unbelievable. Come on, Texans. You lost four games in a row. Hopefully, you don't lose to the Indianapolis Colts this Sunday. They'll wait on word whether or not if Todd Martinez is going to play, but we have to wait and see. Mm -hmm. but the Texans, ever since he went down, they haven't won a game ever since he got hurt. Who else are going to lose to? The Colts? I hope not. I hope they'll drop five in a row. If they do lose five in a row, then we go have to do a recap of the Texas Colts game in the dark once again, just like we did last week. Uh, well, hope, hope, well, we would do in the dark if, if they get shut out, but hope they will get shut out like what in Buffalo. Yep. But Texas, you, at least you didn't get shut out today. That's good news, but you guys got shut out in the fourth quarter, didn't score anything. Because I don't know what the hell... Coach Kyle was thinking sending Kyrie Barrett to kick a long 56-yard field goal. All he could have done was sell a punter and pin the Patriots deep, but no. It all starts with the coach. Mm-mm-mm. Coach -mm. Kyrie Barrett gets your shit together and coach well because David Mills does not like being abandoned. He was doing good. He learned his lesson after throwing four interceptions against Buffalo that 40 nothing shutout. But he was good throwing three touchdown passes. But the Texans just collapsed at the very last moment. Yep. Reminds me of the Longhorns uh, getting shut down by the Sooners at the last minute in the fourth quarter on Saturday. Listen, it's been, it's been a tough weekend. First the Longhorns, then the Texans, and now look what happened. The Astros. Yeah, they lost. to the White Sox last night. And now tonight, they won't play because of the bad weather. So 
So that game's gonna wait till tomorrow. Yep. And they'll have Lance because you know, so Astros, get your shits together because you got a game tomorrow. Chance to close it out against the White Sox. Otherwise, the game's gonna be at the crib on Wednesday. Yep. But testing you better get your shit together quick because you got a game against the Colts and whether or not either Tyler Artair plays or not, still gonna stick with David Mills. He is still searching for his first win when he came oh so close to winning yesterday, but his testings just collapsed. Wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> Anyway, we are definitely going to wrap this up. That's going to wrap up my recap of yesterday's pink ribbon game between the New England Patriots and the Houston Texans. A link to Mikey's YouTube channel will be in the description box below, as always. So if you're new here, hit subscribe if you like the content and hit that notification bell for my next Texans rants. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. Make sure you leave your comments down below. Get your two cents about this game. I'm about to go do my one hour walk. I'll be back after my walk celebrating 25 years of Kablam premiering on Nickelodeon. And I'm going to say my Attitude Era ran for last. Reminiscing 22 years of a tag team match between Stone Cold Steve Austin and Jim Ross versus Triple H and the late China from the October 11th Christopher Columbus Day 1999 edition of Raw is War. Don't follow your dreams. Chase them. Peace. Go Houston Texans. Go Texans.